Hey ladies. So this, this topic is like, I love this topic. Like this is just, this is the icing on the cake for me. This is an amazing way for me to, um, really have a great day is to talk about this subject. This is part one of four. So we are going to have four different videos and this is part one and I am super excited about this series. Who's excited about this series? So we are going to be talking about lives and I'm not talking about your life and my life. I'm talking about being on a video just like I am right now. We are going to talk about lives and over the course of this series, which are four videos, four days back to back, we are going to be discussing what happens behind the scenes, what you need to know when you do a live, what you need to be prepared to do, what you should be doing, uh, what people, mo most people don't do. I'm going to talk to you about what you actually need to do a live whether or not you really need certain things we're also going I'm also going to share with you topics to talk about the best the best for me anyways the best subject that we're going to talk about is vulnerability oh I cannot wait to get my hands on that live it's going to be so much fun and then I'm going to wrap it up with upping your your status with lives and really making you a pro at lives so that last video is going to talk to you about different challenges that you can do using dual lives to your benefit collaborating with other leaders collaborating with your teammates and really making it take that extra step so after you are thank you so much tiffany after you are done watching these lives you're going to know how to do a live and if you can't push the button after we're done, Lord help us. <laughs> Not really, but you know, like it's, you should be fully equipped to be able to master live, do it in your way and really make it your own. So today I am absolutely going to call you out and say that you have to be going live. Today is the first in a four part series and, the, and I think it's the most important one and it's why. Why do you need to use lives? Why, Jen? Why are you telling me, Jennifer Stroman, to use live videos on Facebook? Why are you telling me to put my face in front of the world? Why are you asking me to do that? I'd rather vomit. I'd rather just, I'd rather vomit. I, someone said earlier, and I'm pretty sure it's one of, uh, I'm pretty sure I know who it is, who said, I'd rather set myself on fire than go live. So if you rather set yourself on fire, <laughs> If you rather vomit, if you would rather have diarrhea than go live, I need to know, is that you? Are you that person who would rather like be, have the plague than have to hit the button? Because it really is not as bad as you think it is. And the moment that it happens and you actually start doing them, you're going to realize everything that I'm going to tell you today is so true. And you're going to kick yourself for not doing it sooner. Just trust me. And I'm also going to share with you a story about how I started and talk to you about some statistics. So who is ready? Who's ready? How many of you go live? If you go live, hmm, drop me a unicorn below if you go live. And if you have never gone live and you don't want to go live and you could care less about going live and you don't even want to explore the thought of lives, drop me a donkey below. Yeah, I said it. Drop me a donkey. And if you would love to go live, you're just terrified and you just don't know how to go live, then why don't you drop me a mermaid or a heart, either one, that says that you have the spirit, you're just not quite a unicorn yet. Yes, Lindsay, I made your mermaid not a unicorn yet. So <laughs> there, there's my, there's my stuff. So if you do lives, drop me a unicorn, never, ever, ever going to do a live in your life. And you don't even know why you're on this live watching me, drop me a donkey. And if you are just want to do it, but you're scared and you, you're just terrified. I need a mermaid. Okay. So 
let's get this going. Let's talk about some statistics. For those green people, let's talk about statistics. So here's some things that you need to know about why you need to be using Facebook Lives, first and foremost. Let's get down to like the number stuff and then we'll get into the good stuff. The first thing is one third of all people spend their time online watching live videos. One third of people. And I'm sure that number has gone up because this was last year. That is, they spend about one hour and 17 minutes a day watching live videos. An hour and 17 minutes. 300% more, they watch, people watch live videos 300% more than they do traditional videos. So if you were to put up a video that you recorded and you put on YouTube and you rocked it out because you edited the heck out of it and you made it amazing, they're going to watch 300% more lives that are actually live and actually recorded without any editing than they are a traditional video. That's huge. That's huge. So in 2016, $30 billion was spent with live videos and created and, and everything that went behind it. It was a $30 billion industry. And it is projected that by 2021, if not sooner, it's going to be over 70 billion, not million, billion dollars. Lives are ridiculously beneficial for your business. Now, let's talk about why people don't do lives. Why do you feel, and you, even if you do lives, why do you feel that you maybe couldn't do lives in the beginning? How many, how many times did you, um, how did you feel about doing a live? How, what, what held you back from doing a live? If you do lives or have done lives and you're not doing them, what's holding you back from doing a live right now? Now, remember, this is a safe place. We're in a quiet setting. Um, nobody can outside of this group is going to see anything. We're not going to judge you. There's no judging here. I want you to be brutally honest and express why you feel like maybe you're not going live as often as you should. Maybe you don't know what to do. Maybe you, you're afraid of what people are going to say or judge you or, you know, things like that. Maybe you're just terrified that someone will pick out your flaws. Maybe you're, you're scared because you don't know what to do. You don't know what to go live about. You don't know what to talk about. You don't know how to look. You don't, what is it? What is it that is holding you back? That's first and foremost that I need to know. One, um, I, I see need to get comfortable with it. Self-conscious. Self-conscious is a big one. Most people are very, very self-conscious. And I'm going to talk to you very briefly about how to get over some of these things. How to get out of that uncomfortableness and how to get over that self-consciousness. Self, um, so, one of the first things is some people say, well, I'm just terrified. I'm terrified to do it. I don't know what it is. I can record it live. I can record a video, but I cannot go live. I can record it, but I can't go live. I can talk in front of people, but I can't hit that live button. I can talk to someone in front of me all day long. You put me in front of a live and I just freeze. Maybe it's I'm just so self-conscious, whether it be something on, um, you know, your, your body that you don't like. Maybe it's something in the way you speak. Maybe it's in the way that you look. Maybe it's in the way that you feel and that self-confidence isn't there. And so it holds you back. Um, okay, that's a good one. She doesn't know what to talk about. Even with notes, she goes blank when she hits the live button. I love that. I'm going to talk to you about that too. So what is it that holds you back? Like you just, just can't do it. You just can't. You just can't. So whatever it is, the first thing that I have to say, of course, is going to be, you got to do it scared. Sorry, not sorry. You got to do it scared. So when it is do or die, you would do it. In this, it's not do or die. You don't have to do this. But if you want to be successful in your business, going live is what's going to get you there. So let's, let's talk about a story. Let's talk about me for a few minutes, and then I'm going to give you some really good tips and ways to really kind of get out of those comfort zones, get over that self-consciousness, what I do, what I did, and how I became confident enough to do live videos. And then the rest of the week, we're going to go into all kinds of details to help you really grow and up your live game. 
So when I actually did my first video back in the day when they didn't have lives and you could actually record a video, what, I don't know if any of y'all did that, but I would record and then record and record and record and record until I had the video perfect. So I could say the same thing 50 times until I had it perfect. And if, if you were putting it on YouTube and you were editing it and doing all that, you could do the same video so many times and then cut and crop and do this and do that and you edited, okay? But if you weren't doing an edited version and you just wanted to get something out and you had it like memorized or you were looking off of notes, you would have to say it over and over and over again until you got it right. And so I would have like 20 videos and I would finally have the one, the one, and then that's what I could post. And I was comfortable with that because I was just looking at a screen, I was talking to myself, whatever. However, <laughs> that's what I thought. I made a, a video, year, this is about four years ago, and I kid you not, kid you not, if I were to show it to you, you would flip out. I can't show it to you, but I can show you another one later. But the video, I was probably like this, but the video was long ways, and I was like right on it. It was just my face. Like you could see every pore, every everything. And I had really short hair. It was curly. My face looked really, really fat because of the way I was, the way my hair was and the way my face was in the camera. And I rocked it. I rocked the video, but what I did not know, because I uploaded it onto YouTube only because it was for my team, it was to help them with customers, it was to help them kind of get whatever situation that they, they it was about, it was, a, it was gonna help customers, okay? So with that, I thought I'll just upload it to YouTube, people can share it that way. Hi, Nicole. Can you shut the door, please? She's home and the dog's going nuts. Can you uh, get the dog out? Thank you. Thank you. Close the door. Thank you. Okay. So I did this video and I earned every trip with this company. So the first, the first trip we went on, um, I show up and people are tapping me on the shoulder. I'm on a bus trying to go to the hotel and people are tapping me on the shoulder. Hey, you're the... It was about detox, okay? So it was, you're the detox girl. You're the detox girl. And everyone started tapping me on the shoulder. I saw your video. I saw your video. Do you know how embarrassed I was? I am trying to go to a beach and just enjoy myself. Just enjoy myself. And I only did this video to help my team and my customer. I did not do this video for it to go viral. It had gone insanely viral. Everybody in the company had used it. And the company was pretty new at the time. Um, and so they really didn't have any videos. They didn't have corporate stuff out really at that time. So people were flocking to it and using it everywhere. And here I am, just did this video and had no idea that it was going to go like that. Had no idea. But when I went back and watched it, I was so embarrassed, so embarrassed at the way I looked, at the way I was, about every little bit of it. Eventually we took it down um, because it was no longer compliant with the company. But uh, that is like the start of how I did videos was that and it just took off So I really had no choice but to be like, oh, yeah, hi, I'm the D-Dogs girl <laughs> Like I didn't have any choice and actually I was like going through Like this for the whole trip because I didn't want people to recognize me because that's 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 not what I wanted I'm not one that wants to be um, showcased like that so when it came time for me to do a live on Facebook I literally was gonna throw up literally gonna throw up because when you push the live button you cannot control what happens for instance perfect example Nicole just came home dog swinging his her tail everywhere knocking over stuff making a lot of ruckus she comes in here to shut the door she doesn't necessarily want to listen the dogs running across the carpet pulls the carpet to pull the light all of these things happen and it's all live there's nothing I can do that terrified me. When you hit the button, you're live and there's nothing you can do. And it's like, I'm just gonna vomit, I'm just gonna, I just, I can't. If you were to go back and watch my first few videos, you'll be shocked at how I am today. Reality is, people love live. They wanna be a part of your life. They wanna know about you. They wanna see you. They're not concerned with your crooked teeth. They're not concerned with your 
eyebrows not being sisters because they're really distant, distant, far off distant cousins. They're not concerned with the grays in your hair. They're not concerned with the 10, 20, 30, 50 pounds extra you got on you. They're not concerned with what you got on under the live. They don't care if you're wearing unicorn slippers. They don't care about anything but finding out who you are and finding out if they can trust you. And that's where lives really open a door. Because if I were to ask you, and I will ask you, how many of you, if you met me in person, how many of you feel like you know me? Maybe you don't know me, but you know me. How many of you feel like you could get along with me? Or you would recognize me if you saw me in public? you would be able to say, that's Jennifer, I know her voice, I know what she looks like. How many of you would know who I am or feel like you would be able to connect with me? And the reason that you feel that way is because I go live, because you get to see me. You get to see me in the real, the raw, the ugly, the natural, whatever, you get to see me. And that is what lives is all about, okay? You can watch some of my lives and some of my lives are very, very uh, planned out to a T. I have notes, I have points, just like the last video I did, I had notes and I had points. And I can do this video and I can say, hey, everybody, if you're on here and you're catching the replay, comment replay below. And if you like this, do this. And if you like that, do that. And you do this and you do that and do this. And I can do this animated video and I can just pop, 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 pop and be done but more people are gonna watch a video of me being real and raw and sitting here talking to you. More people are gonna be concerned about you and seeing you. Will they watch a video of me opening a kit? Absolutely, absolutely. Will they watch me pulling off bullet points? Absolutely, if I'm teaching them something, if I'm inspiring them, if I'm motivating them, if I'm uplifting them, if I'm giving them a reason to watch me, they're going to watch because it's live and because they want to watch something funny happen and because they want to see what's going on and they get to be part of your life. So what I really want you to see is that you are going to show someone who you are, not who you put on Facebook. That I think is what scares most people. Most people are scared that they're going to find out who they really are. And Here's what, how I feel about that. People are gonna find out who you really are. Okay, so they're gonna find out that you don't necessarily like jewelry, okay? So you take the jewelry off. They're gonna find out that you don't wash your hair for three days. You just put some dry shampoo in it, okay? And so it's, it needs to be washed, okay? That you haven't colored your hair in a long time. Okay, that you need to wear your hair up because you can't stand hair in your face and that this is what you look like most days. Okay, I could go through this and do no makeup. I've done lives with no makeup because I finally got comfortable enough to know that people want to see the real, raw you. They want to see the person that they can relate to. That's what it comes down to. They want to see the person they can relate to. They cannot relate to the person who gets up and says, all right, guys, here's 10 ways to lose weight and here's what you do and you have to do it like this and you got it and you blah, 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 and then just blah, and there's no animation and there's no personality and they're just, and they get off alive. They don't care about that person. What they care about is the one who's talking to the kid, who's got a kid screaming in the background, who's holding a kid on their hip while they're cooking and showing you how to make something because the husband didn't give the kid, didn't take the kid out of the room for you. They want to see real raw life. Let me give you a perfect example. Unique, let's talk about unique girls. Um, a lot of them love to do get ready with me lives. Nothing wrong with that. So you can do some get ready with me lives and there's a couple girls in my head that I'm gonna talk about. Um, one of them, beautiful, gorgeous girl. And every time she does a live, like she's bare faced, 
She's actually pretty ugly bare-faced. Most of us are pretty ugly bare-faced, let's just face it. And so she's got her bare face on and, and I say ugly, we're all beautiful. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that you look completely different when you don't have makeup on. That's all I'm saying, guys. Don't take me wrong. So she has this bare face and it's not so, yeah. And she does these, she does this video and there's nobody in the background. She's got a beautiful backdrop. It's not like this, it's not real walls. She's got a beautiful backdrop. It's perfectly pressed. She's a ring light. She's everything just going for her, okay? Everything's perfect. And then you have you have someone that, um, this other one that I have that's a freaking hot mess. And if anybody watches unique videos, they'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So do not say the name. She is a freaking hot mess. And guess what? Which one gets more likes and what and views and comments and questions and like who interacts with which one? They're going to interact with the one that is a stinking hot mess who's got the dog eating her her little makeup thing and she's got the kid who's like taking the brushes down and they she's she's preoccupied with this over here and that over there people are going to watch that because they want to watch the hot mess they want to see what's going to happen <laughs> it's live it's live folks they're watching to see what happens now, me particularly, that would drive me insane because I'm like, focus, focus, people, focus. I was learning about brows. Tell me about the brows. But most people are there to watch what's going on. They're there to see what's going on in your life. They want to see what's happening. They want to see the hot mess. They want to see the baby get handed to you by the husband with poop coming off that says, honey, you need to change this, rather than seeing you be perfect. So when it comes to lives, Strip yourself down and know that who you are is all you have to be. Because what people want to know is who you are and they want to connect with you. And the vulnerability part of that will save for another live. But I think a lot of it is, I love that because that's where I was going. Um, she says, I'm scared of judgment. Scared of judgment. That's huge. And that's very hard to say out loud. So I appreciate you saying that. I'm scared of judgment too. So here's a few things that you need to know about when it comes to this. One, someone else's opinion of you doesn't matter. Okay? Two, you are enough, baby girl. And no one else can take that from you. Okay? My favorite Bible verse is Ephesians 2.10. You are his masterpiece. You need to remember that. When people cut you down, when people are ugly, when people don't like you, that's okay. You were created in his image and you are his masterpiece. So that's first and foremost. But when it comes to judgment, there are ways that you can do a live and not pay attention to that stuff. I go live every day and I can point out every single one of my flaws to you. And I have no problem pointing out my flaws because I am not perfect. And it took me a lot of years to figure out that I'm not perfect. <laughs> I knew I wasn't perfect. But to figure out that I could do this without being perfect. And to figure out that it didn't matter what someone else thought. My teeth are not completely white. I was assaulted many years back. And my teeth are slanted. When I got hit and my teeth went backwards and had to be shifted. And so I have a retainer that was attached that had to be snipped. So... My teeth are crooked and I worry about that. It actually made my smile a little crooked. So even when I put up a picture, y'all put up a picture almost, <laughs> almost every day I see this picture. It's the one with the, with the purple and it's really pretty. A lot of people love it and it has a little picture in the corner. But what I see when I look at that is the crooked smile, crooked smile. What I see is this big nose that I got from the Indian side of the family. What I see are the pores. What I see are the brows that are uneven and that have to be painted on every day. What I see are all the gray hair that needs to be touched up, okay? I see all the flaws. I see the birthmark on my face. I see the scar where I, this one right here, where I actually, I blame my brother for that. You know, that's been there for years and years and years. I see and I love, and this is where I'm going with this. I see this scar right here. That's a physical 
scar that you can see, right? It's visible. But there's a whole lot of scars we carry inside. A lot. A lot of scars we carry inside. A lot of things that you can't see that we're healing from. And the truth of the matter is, people want to know those because when they see that, they can connect with it. They can't connect with someone who wants to be perfect. They can't connect with someone who acts like they're perfect. Who they can connect with is someone who gets on a live and talks about, and I'm not saying go spread your dirty laundry. Do not take this the wrong way. I'm gonna give you an example, but do not do this. Please don't do this. If I were to go live and talk about when I was assaulted and what happened, do you know how many people would connect with that? If I talked about my scar on my face, do you know how many people would connect to that? If I talked about my daughter attempting to take her life, how many people would connect with that? How many people would connect with feeling worthless, feeling ugly, feeling like they can't, they can't live on? When it comes to social media, this is your platform. This is Tiffany TV. This is Kristen TV. This is Jennifer TV. This is your TV. And if someone has something ugly to say, if someone has something nasty to say, if someone wants to be judgmental, they can leave your channel. It's not about them. It's not about them. But I'm going to tell you that you're going to have so many more people stand behind you and stand up and want to be there for you and want to be supportive of you because you are transparent, because you are being honest, because you are being real and raw and who you really truly are. That is how you get your people. When I created this environment for people, it was a safe place. And anybody who tries to change that safe place, I'm very protective. And the reason I am is because I want it to continue to be this safe place. But the only way that people have followed me, the only reason that people have connected with me, the only reason that people have joined me is because they related to me in some way. They related to me. Maybe they related to me in a way of uh, success. Maybe they related to me in a way of something that we both have mutually connected. Maybe whatever it is, they connected with me. And that's why they chose to join me. They're going to connect with you through a live. They're not going to connect with you through a post. I can type out a thousand freaking word post or a 10 word post and say, I was assaulted, my teeth are crooked, the end of the story. Or I could tell you the whole story in a post. Put those two side by side and add a third number and I go live and I sit in front of the camera and I share my teeth and I talk about what happened and I talk about the emotion and I talk about things and you see it in my eyes. Which one are you gonna connect with? Now I'm not saying that that's what you use social media for. But people see it, people know it, people know your heart when you go live. Whatever it is you talk about. And one of the topics, one of the parts to this is going to be talking about topics and how to talk and what to talk about and all that good stuff. But they're going to pay attention to the live, absolutely. Because that is where they see your emotions. That's where they see the true, true you. That's where they see the real, raw person behind the scene. Okay? So... Let me get me a little drink. Take a second here. <laughs> Reality is people want to see you. So how do you get out of that? How do you get past the judging and all of those things? And how do you push the button? Here's some things that I want to give you. And then we're going to hop off of here until tomorrow for our next part. But some ways that you can really make yourself get to that point and you, I'm telling you, people love vulnerability and that's why we'll be talking about that in a couple of days. Um, one of the things that you can do is you can change your settings to just you. So instead of saying you're going to go public or you're going to go friends, you go live, you can hit the, uh, only you. Okay, so you can hit me and, and when you go live, it's only to yourself. So you're not actually going live and so you can practice. Just hit the button. Just practice hitting the button. Practice just hitting the button and being okay with hitting the button. 
Another thing that you can do is you can go look in a mirror and just start talking and just kind of get used to talking out loud, okay? Sorry, my throat is getting really scratchy. When it comes time for you to actually go live for the first time, there are a couple things that you can do to go live. You can go live over something very small and nonsense. For instance, maybe your kids are at a, an event and they're maybe they're going to be singing or they're going to be doing something and you, you hit the live button. You're like, hey, we're here watching Nicole play soccer and you flip it over and you show the soccer. Okay. Or I cannot believe I'm going live, but I have to show you this. And I think I'm going to vomit if I keep showing my face on the screen. So I'm going to flip this over and let me watch Nicole play soccer. And you flip it and you turn it. You could do a live like that to where you just get it out of the way. But I think the best lives when you do your first live is something that's passionate and true to yourself that you really want to talk about, that you feel that you have to talk about. And when it comes to like maybe someone changes a business and maybe they were with another company and they've switched to a different company and it's time that they announce that and maybe they do a kit unboxing and what they do is they say, I'm, I seriously cannot believe I'm going live. I think I'm going to vomit. I think I'm going to throw up. I even have the trash can. If I throw up, please just... And people throw up love and people are supportive and people are watching and people want to see you succeed. They know that you're scared and they support you. And it goes so much further that way. But if you're terrified to watch comments, if you're terrified to see what people have to say, there's a wonderful, wonderful trick that you can do. You put your finger up to the screen and you swipe to the right and all the comments go away. So you don't see the comments. Another thing that you can do is you can get a sticky and you can put a little sticky right over the corner that has how many people are hopping on so that you don't know how many people are actually watching your live. There's something else that I'm going to tell you works wonders and you get used to it the more you do lives. Don't look at yourself. Don't ever look at yourself. Stay focused and look wherever the camera is. If the camera's up there, if the camera's to the side, wherever the camera is, look at the camera. Don't look at the screen. Don't look at yourself because you start looking at yourself. You start thinking, oh man, I've got some bags here. I've got this pimple that won't go away. Can they can really see that pimple? Oh my gosh, they can see that pimple. Oh, oh, my teeth. Oh, is that broccoli? Like don't, <laughs> don't look at yourself, okay? You look at the camera the entire time. This does a couple things. One, it actually helps with your self-consciousness because if you're focused on looking at the camera and focused on what you're talking about, you're not looking at yourself and figuring out that, oh, I don't like the way, oh, is my double chin? Like you don't worry about those things because you're looking at the camera. And when you are done going live and you hit post, don't go look at your live, don't go watch your live because you will want to delete it every single time <laughs> maybe after a while you don't but I literally do not like watching my lives i don't because i don't want to see myself because i start critiquing myself and i start picking myself apart this is not about being perfect this is about being real and raw so um i'm gonna wrap this up here in just two seconds so if anybody has questions about just hitting the button or any, if you'd like some extra suggestions on how to practice and what to do, you know, I want to, I want to touch on those tomorrow. We're going to really dig in even further and we're going to talk about what you need behind the scenes, what you really need, what you don't need. And then, um, we're going to really get into topics and, and how to really make a live dynamic. And then the last thing is going to make you a live pro, like a real live pro. But why do you really have to go live? You don't. You don't have to go live, but if you want to create a sustainable business that's going to blow it, just completely blow up, you have to go live. In this day and age, people want to see lives. And Mark Zuckerberg has made it very, very clear that he will put a live, a live that is not like broadcast out of a company, but a live from a friend or a family in someone's face before he ever does a post. So people's lives are gonna pop up before anything else on your timeline. Now they have your little at the top of your story and your lives show up there when you're live. So when you open a news feed, you see who's live at that time. Mark Zuckerberg has created Facebook to cater to the live viewers. Why are you not tapping into that? 
Do you go live about your company and everything all day long? No, and we'll talk about that later. But you've got to get uncomfortable because the only way that magic is gonna happen is when you get out of your comfort zone and start being real raw you, like real raw. How do you do that? How do you get past the anxiety? How do you get past the fear? You're going to learn how to do the live properly tomorrow, what you need to do a live. You're gonna learn how to practice. What I want you to do is practice tonight. I want you to practice tomorrow. I want you to practice until you're ready to hit the live button. But I want you to cover, practice even covering up the live number even though you're going to yourself. You know, practice looking at the camera and not at yourself. Practice swiping right, <laughs> whatever. But practice, 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 practice until you're ready. Until you're ready but don't spend your entire life practicing because if you never hit that button you're never gonna succeed you'll never get to that point where it's okay and that you can do this so I hope that this was helpful I love that this is just part one we have so many other parts to go so tomorrow tune in and we will be doing part two and it's just gonna get sweeter and sweeter and sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. And guys, I love going live now. I used to hate it. And I do not mind, just don't comment and boost them back up because that's totally embarrassing. But I do not mind if you go to my profile and you Facebook stalk me and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll until you get to some of the very first lives that I've ever done. Would anybody like to see a live that I'm totally embarrassed about? Anybody? If somebody would like to see a live that I'm totally embarrassed about, I will post a link. No shame, no shame in my game. I will post a link so you can see how awful it was at one point. The ones that I've left on social media because I've deleted a lot of them. <laughs> but I have no shame showing you. Showing you how much bigger I was, not so flattering I was. I don't, I mean, I'm fine. Go scroll through my Facebook and look at all those ugly videos I did. But I have no problem. I'll go pull one tonight. I will pull you one that I would be totally embarrassed to show anybody. And I'll post it in, in the bottom. How's that? All right. I didn't get like this overnight, guys. It takes time. It takes work. But the only way you're going to get to be where I'm at, push the button. Push the button. Love you guys. Bye.